Thermal viewer, thermographic camera, infrared camera, and even thermal surveillance device. It has many names, but only one purpose. With the help of this equipment, you can literally see the heat emitted by objects around us. Not just feel it, but actually see it. All objects emit heat or infrared radiation. Electromagnetic waves of a certain wavelength, roughly 0.9 to 14 micrometers. Thermal imagers or infrared cameras are capable of detecting the spectrum and translating it into an image that makes sense to us, humans. Dark blue and violet hues, they stand for colder areas. Bright orange and yellow for warmer ones. Contrary to a common misconception, there are no objects in this world that don't emit heat, even say ice. If we slightly adjust the heat range of the thermal imaging camera, the block of ice will start glowing like burning hot metal. Only objects cooled down to absolute zero, minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, don't emit thermal radiation and cannot be detected by thermal viewers. But achieving the state is next to impossible. But there are also some curious things that are seen differently by regular and thermal imaging cameras. For example, this black plastic bag. If I cover myself with it, the regular camera won't see me anymore, but the thermal one will. Actually, it registers my infrared radiation, which passes through the bag. And that's not all. We can reverse the situation. A sheet of absolutely transparent glass, for example, becomes absolutely untransparent for the thermal imager. It simply reflects all infrared radiation, and the entire filming crew can see themselves in it like in a mirror. Although, like I said, it's just a regular glass. If we put two glasses of water next to each other, one hot and one cold, a human eye will most likely not be able to distinguish between the two, but a thermal imager sees it right away. Blue color corresponds to cold water, bright yellow and orange to hot. And by the way, it's all in all a spectacular sight when you place together something cold and something hot. That's how cold water looks, like crude oil. And this is what happens when boiling water is being poured into it. You can clearly see all the mixing layers of liquids with different temperatures. Put your hands on a tabletop and then remove them. You won't see anything, but a thermal imager will detect the heated area of the table in the shape of a hand. The same thing happens if you put a face on the tabletop, like a face of the director of our show. The shape won't be so distinct, but still there would be a mark left, and only a thermal imager can pick it up before it goes away in a couple of minutes. And this is something I wanted to do for a real long time, throwing a glass of water in the face of the aforementioned director. For a purely scientific reason, of course. This is just normal water, but since it is colder than the human body, it looks like ink or crude oil on the thermal imager screen. The face seems dirty, although it is not the case. Yes, hiding behind the limits of the visible spectrum designated for us is a whole other world, as colorful and unusual as the one we are used to seeing.